Dave, my friend, uh, the man who believed in me when we were just an idea. Welcome. I haven't seen you in about six months. Um, I'm so gracious to see you today. Buddy, it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. I just want to ask one question, one word. Why? <laughs> well, that, that's, uh, that's, that's a broad topic, Steve. I, I remember in the beginning that you and I started out with a purpose and a passion. And what I'm really, really excited about now is we found a pathway. And that pathway is going to take us to profitability. Remember we started looking at Roman concrete? We thought that was the answer. 2017. 2017. Could we call that pathway a plan? It's, it's become a plan, but it took a few wanderings to get there. But we have found some super, you have found, not me, you found some absolutely super exciting uh, and relevant technologies, relevant to today's needs and relevant to our purpose and passion to do what we can to make this planet healthier. I am so scared. In the last two weeks, we've seen the Atlantic coast of Canada literally reshaped. Reshaped, beaches gone, erosion, and then we've just seen tragic loss of life as all of this energy that's in this warmer water because of global warming is destroying our civilizations. And I'd like to think that what we're doing is impact investing. When someone invests in plan, I believe they're impact investing. And I think our biggest impact investor is you. You've bought 30 million shares, you've never sold one. I realize that this is a passion play for you. Um, but could you tell our investing community a little more about, you know, just about this whole investment in plan and as you've seen it progress and why you're still holding? Well, my investment, as I said, was because I wanted to do something good. I wanted to try and leave the world in better shape than when I say we found it. Actually, it's our generation that has contributed significantly uh, to the deterioration, degradation speak of the for climate. Your, speak for yourself. You say our generation. You're 20 years older than me, even though we look like we're the same age, okay? So... <laughs> Okay, so I just want everyone out, out there to know that he's 20 years older, even though we look the same age. So our generations, I'm Gen X. 70 is only a number, Steve. <laughs> it's only a number. Anyways, um, yeah, no, I think it's important that the investment community hears from our largest investor about why. You know, I've... Steve, I've always cared about nature. To me, nature is, um, it is the force that uh, sort of encompasses everything, uh, everywhere. Um, and it's something over which, to a very great extent, we have no control. And you, as a East Coaster in Canada... Um, I know you, you would be touched by seeing pictures of those houses that for three or four generations have been on the edge of a, of a cliff with a phenomenal view and now they're down in the water. They're gone after 150 years. It's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. I restored many homes built in the 1800s in Newfoundland, restored them as my hobby. And just seeing this destruction, it's heartbreaking. Um, it is a big question for anybody in the world now. Can we live next to an ocean? We've never had to think about that before. For those people that don't believe in climate change, 
I'm, I'm just puzzled, but we now have to rethink living by oceans. Yeah, puzzled is, is, a, is a soft word for it. And I have to believe that what's gone on in the last month in terms of climate impact on millions and millions of lives in Canada and the United States and other countries has got to be a wake up call that people just must hear. I don't know how they can tune it out. And um, it's why not only am I passionate about what you're doing or we're doing together with Progressive Planet Solutions, but we spent the morning at ZS2 Technologies. Um, that's another company that is going to reshape the construction industry. While fighting climate change. While fighting climate change. And it's great that you're partnered with them. I'm thrilled that my company, Octaform, is partnered with them as well. It's amazing. 24% you know, of each of those tiles coming out of that pilot plant is materials, byproducts of us making other products. We're taking waste materials. We announced some spectacular results, spectacular strengths using Paz Zio and Paz Glass in those magnesium cement tiles. It's just incredible. So um, I don't want to take too much of your time, but I wanted the investment community to hear from our lead and shareholder. And um, I very much appreciate what you've done. You've allowed me to take my vision and execute that. And uh, I thank you for that. My pleasure, buddy. And as you know, there's a few other things that uh, I'm involved with that um, <clears throat> you've been around and helped provide some guidance on. Supercap Technologies. Can I interject right now? Yeah. So we're running out of time today, but I'd like to have a second conversation with you where we talk about ag tech. You're an avid gardener. Just what this man has done to preserve bees around the world, part of the Billion Bee Initiative. You know, creating jobs in Africa for unemployed men to go out and develop these beehives and create a sustainable form of food. It's another conversation for another day. I'm a small time farmer. You're an avid gardener. I'd love to have another chat about ag tech and what we're doing in that field at another time. We'll do that, my friend, because if we don't advance regenerative agriculture and undo the damage of hundreds of years of turning soil into dirt, where it's no longer productive, we can't feed the world or the world can't feed itself. And what you're doing at Progressive Planet, in that vein of regenerative agriculture and natural, uh, healthy nutrients for the soil is transformative. And I, I congratulate you and I'm proud of you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks for your time. We will do this again. We will. Okay, good.